Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Today is the day that shipping begins and that orders are being sent out to all of the wonderful people who supported Eric July. And obviously, like every day, I'm struggling to figure out positive things to talk about the channel or rip averse things to talk about the channel. And I suck at this YouTube thing, but I think I found a pretty good topic. Before we get into that, today's beer is the Rattler from Two Pitchers Brewing. This is a lager with grapefruit and a hint of blood orange. So, cheers to everybody out there. Oh, and that's good. Oh, it's, oh, it's, mmm. Mmm, ooh, that's like an orange, it's almost like an orange creamsicle in beer form. Oh. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You guys remember Uncle Jesse? Have mercy. Oh, oh, it's so good. Let's get into the topic of today's video. All right, we're going to start over here on Twitter because, you know, that's where everybody should, you know, start their day out is on Twitter. Let's blow that up a little bit and uh, get there we go. All right, so this guy says, what the hell are you even talking about? Logistics, you create a product, you get it out there. Nothing logistical about that. It's pretty damn simple. No. Uh, and Eric July, being Eric July, you know, quote tweets. The guy says, yeah, man, that's how it works. Just create a product and get it out there. Lord have mercy. Oh, he says have mercy. Have mercy on these people that have the business sense of a gnat. And he is so right. So let's talk about why it has taken Eric July so long to get the comic books out to people. Let's talk about just create a product and get it out there, right? Okay, how many products, and this is the whole theme of the show, how many products did Eric July have to buy in order to get his product to the people? That is the most important question, okay? So... Let's think about this. All right, product number one. He didn't necessarily have to buy with cash, but he had to buy with time. He needed to sit down and figure out the story that he wanted to tell. Now, before he decided to write a story, he did dedicated his time to coming up with his comic book Bible. Now, that's hugely important because that's essentially going to be the groundwork, and that's going to be, again, the Bible for the stories. The cans and the cannots of the story of the Ripperverse. So he dedicates his time to doing this Bible. How he wants the characters written, what he can and can't do, how he's going to proceed. That is hugely important and that is a huge time investment. Okay, and for all of you who don't know, you don't get time back. Okay, so that's the first product that he had to buy with time. Time was the currency there, okay? So using the currency of his own time, he developed the Bible, then developed the story. Now, <clears throat> he has to shop around for an artist, and then he has to shop around for a colorist, and then he has to shop around for a lot of other people. So let's talk about this. The next product that he had to buy in order to just, you know, what did the guy say? Um, uh, you create a product and get it out there. Nothing logistical about that. Okay, so nothing logistical here. We're not going to talk about logistics at all. We're just going to talk about the products that he had to buy buy or invest in in order to keep going so he had to develop a contract with an artist okay and with that artist he said hey i want my characters to do this this is what we're doing they probably signed some nda stuff you know make sure it's all legal and then he buys the product so the artist comes up with the artwork and then he goes yeah and then he has to say yay or nay so now not only are they devote now not is he only devoting time to this but also money because he has to give the yay or nay on the artwork then he gets a colorist out there tells him kind of the themes that he's going for what he's looking for these characters and how he wants them colored now maybe he was like hey just go for it just you know show me what you got and they were like oh dude we got this and maybe it was perfect but it's still a time investment and then he had to pay for the coloring now once all the coloring and the artistry was done and you go okay wow i actually can see this thing in my mind and Let's put the words to the page now. But before we continue any further, now we've got to get lawyers involved. Okay, and the lawyers are going to go through all the legal paperwork and the do's and don'ts of business. And, you know, Eric's going to say, I want to do this, but I also need to make sure that I'm protected. And so Eric goes through the do's and don'ts with his lawyers. That's another product that he had to buy. No logistics here. Stop it. We're not talking about logistics, okay? 
This is no stop. It's not like you don't. What logistics are we even talking about? No logistics here. Okay. Once that is all said and done, now he needs to go out to uh, find a warehouse to purchase. Okay. To house all of these things that he's going to get in all of this product that he's going to get in and have a centralized location to handle the distribution himself. Again, not talking logistics. I'm just like, like Eric July just needs to get the product out, right? Like it's, you know, you create a product and you get it out there. That's it. That's all Eric July has to do. Okay. We're not talking. <laughs> oh, I can't say, Look, let's see how long I can. Mm, I'm trying to straight face this video. I'm trying to, I'm trying to straight, trying to straight face the video. Anyway. So now he gets his warehouse out. Now he has to go public with everything. But before he goes public, he needs another product, right? He's got to get a website up to showcase the product. He's not in individual stores yet, yet, but that is coming from what we've heard from Eric. So he hires a team of people to build a website for him and stress test this website and get everything ready. Okay, so now the website's ready. Then he has to call a printer and say, hey, this is what we're doing. We're expecting this many orders, which we totally and I say we because I purchased actually my wife purchased the stuff for me because she's amazing and she loves me. But we like can I say we can I okay okay my wife and all of you glorious people purchased this awesome comic book hopefully awesome comic book and uh, and, and the, now he has to get the printers involved okay so now the printers are involved and then they have to do what they need to do now. He also is creating other merchandise around the stuff. So now he has to see if printers can handle that, different card manufacturers, T-shirt companies, all of these different products. Why can't he just create his product and get it out there? I don't understand. <laughs> You know, and then on top, you know, and he did talk about, you know, stupid thing like Eric July. Seriously, dude, you need to learn. Just because there's product shortages doesn't mean you can't do with this guy you just got to get it out there okay just who cares about product shortages for like shopping around for paper like just get it out there eric it's not that hard okay just just get it out there you don't need paper to do a comic book in physical form like i don't I, I mean, just send people like a hundred etch sketches. I, 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 what's the product shortage on etch sketches? Just hopefully they don't shake too much in transport. We're not talking about logistics, okay? We're not. No, stop it. So the next thing he has to do after he gets the printers lined up and the various different goals and the various different merchandise that lined up, he then goes live with his product, right? And says, hey, everybody, it's live. You can go purchase it. And then you people and my lovely wife, because apparently I, I didn't buy it. My lovely wife did. And you crash the hell out of his website. So now he has to call people and say, hey, your product crashed. And they're like, oh, snap. We stress tested it. We swear. And he goes, yeah, no, no, you're good. I just didn't expect so now he has to pay for more product. We're not talking about logistics. I don't stop it. And then once all of that stuff is said and done, <clears throat> he has to get bags, boards, and boxes, right? Why would you bag and board a comic? Like, can't you just like roll that crap up, throw it in a tube and send it? I mean, you could do that, but he didn't do that. He wanted to bag and board the comic. Anyway, so, and then there's t-shirts and, and hats and things that go along with all of these things, right? And then multiple different covers. So again, all of the different products that Eric July had to purchase, had to develop. And then as the business scaled up so much, he had to multiply those products that he had to buy in order to accommodate the massive influx of crazy people like my wife because i didn't buy anything like my wife and all of you you know people out there uh to actually get this product to the people again we're not talking about logistics or are we so my tweet here and i will just read it for you we don't need to go back to twitter this guy is living proof that a centralized education system is an abysmal failure when you create a product and you have an idea for it, it very much comes down to the idea of networking with others and having the masters of other things such as resource allocation, like paper, 
such as printing, such as bookbinding, such as legal paperwork, artwork, t-shirt creation. Whenever you are creating a product, you actually have to find masters of other industry to help because no man is a master of everything that goes into running a successful campaign in today's day and age. So for everybody out there wondering, well, I bought my book two months ago. Why isn't it here yet? I don't know. I'm not talking logistics. I'm just talking product. Thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. If you like what I am doing here, don't forget to go down in the link in the description below and join up with our Gilded. Check out Odyssey, which is where all of these videos get posted. Check out Rumble if you're more of a Rumble person and click that link and go join us over on Rumble. The other thing that you can do is you can like this video, share it. You can subscribe, but most importantly of all, comment down below if you guys like what A Drink With Crazy is doing. Thank you all so much, and I will see you next time right here. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.